Hello, and welcome back. Hi, everybody. If you don't know who we are by now, what are we doing here? But for those who may have accidentally somehow come across it, we're Ray and Corey from Whining Away with Corey and Ray. And in my never-ending quest to find different orange wines, those of you who have been watching will know that I have brought two so far to your attention, and they're not easy to come by. But if you didn't see those ones, you can always go on our YouTube channel. That's right. And Whining you'll... Away with Corey and Ray, YouTube. And you can see those other ones. But I came across at my new job at Bin 52, I came across another orange wine. This particular one is Greek. And and we wish we had some Greek friends today to help us. And Corey, and I realized we haven't done a Greek wine nope. yet. So not only did I find another orange wine, but I found our first Greek entry. This, Opa. Is, this is a grape <laughs> called Malagu Malaguzia. That's why we wanted Greek friends. We can't read the label. The back well, the of it is The entire label is in Greek, in Greek. And we actually were able to go uh, onto the website, which is also completely in Greek. Greek. And they don't give you an English choice. so <laughs> You have no English option whatsoever. We don't know what they have to say. So, all I know is it's an orange wine. And we all know how much I love the orange wines. And so I said, got to bring it for the next episode. Now, this one is not as orange as some of the others that he brought. I mean, it has an orange tinge to it. But of course, on camera, this looks really orange. Yeah, but in real life, less. <laughs> um, less Oompa Loompa. But of course, you know, uh, once again, uh, just to give a, a quick reminder, orange wine is white wine that gets uh, a little more skin contact, like red wine does. And it gives it this uh, caramel sort of orangey color. Now, what type of grape is this? Uh, well, as I just said about 10 seconds earlier, it was Malaguzia. That's the name of the grape? That is the grape. Oh, I thought that was just the name of the wine. No, it's an orange Malaguzia. Okay. Have you ever had Malaguzia before? No. I've had Greek wines before, but I don't believe I've had a Malaguzia and the vineyard is Kemkuti. Okay. And then there's a lot of Greek words on the back. But yeah, I... let me see what some of it says. If it says. It says a low intervention wine. What does that mean? That means that people who drink it very rarely are alcoholic enough to require an intervention from their family and friends. <laughs> That's not what it means. <laughs> well, then I... I really don't know. <laughs> it's that's from... I, that's how I took it. Velvenitos, Greece. Then I don't know why you're drinking it. <laughs> I haven't had an intervention yet. Not that I've attended. <laughs> oh, it's coming. So, anyway. Um, oh, oh, man. Have you had it yet, Nancy? What did you think? Oh, that's delicious. The finish. I wish I could try oh, it. Oh, the finish on this is... It smells lovely. Oh, wow. Wow, that's delicious. She uh, went... <laughs> bin, <laughs> bin 52 sells this for eighteen ninety nine. It's got 13% alcohol. Um, wow, it's what, just... What would you pair this with? I mean, not like, you know, typical, you know, seafood and everything, but I, this one would really go well with a lot of pork dishes. I mean, if you had this with like a pulled pork sandwich, it would be freaking amazing. Or even or ribs. A or a Greek gyro. Moussaka. Yeah, a gyro. Moussaka. Eggplant mm, pie. Um, Hummus. Well, okay, obviously Greek food, but uh, oh man, ton of flavor on this. Just a ton of flavor. I mean, peach, nectarine. Yeah, you can smell that. Oh, and amazing. the finish is just nice and elongated and fulfilling now how hard would this be for people to find i mean if they don't go to bin 52 it's kind of all bets off i'm in the wine business 
and today was the first time I've ever seen this bottle, so I'm going to go ahead and say that unless you have some connection in the Greek wine industry, it's probably not easy to find, but as we pointed out in our previous episode, Bin52 has a website and they're on board with all the delivery services and uh, you could certainly get it through there. Now Malaguza is M-A-L-A-G-O-U-Z-I-A. So it's Malagozia. Uh, but I believe the producer is Velventos? P-G-J Velventos? What year is it? 2019. 2019. So there you have the information if you want to go and try something yummy. I daring. Mean, yummy. So, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Where he found one of his favorites. Glad you could be here for that. You wouldn't want to miss that. And please, if any of you out there try any of these orange wines, comment on our Instagram or our Facebook and let us know. And let us know what you think. Yeah, tell us what orange wines you found, what you like, what we should try. Uh, give us some recommendations. We would love to put it on the show and give a shout out to whoever suggests it. But, uh, you know, I'm still looking for... Uh, what was it? Orange wine from Slo Slovenia. Slovenia. So, yeah, don't so forget. I guess I'm Our fans in Slovenia, let us know I'm if you got orange closer. wine. I'm in Greece. One of these days. You won't want to miss that show when he actually finds it. Stay tuned. We're going to watch me drink the whole bottle. Wonderful. The low, the low intervention wine. It's, that one won't be low intervention. Uh -huh. The Slovenia will be known as high intervention. And in fact, maybe we'll even video part of the intervention that goes on as I'm finishing it. <laughs> they would love that. So stay tuned. More fun, as always, with Ray and Corey. And thank you for joining us. Go try an orange wine. And remember, good wine. Good friends. <laughs> Great, Great li life. Life. Why is everybody here? <laughs>